Over the past 10 days, I had ventured around the country of Sri Lanka for the first time, experiencing so much of the culture and developing a new appreciation for this place. From mountains to beaches, waterfalls to temples, elephants to dogs, hiking to biking, sunrises to sunsets, hotels to glamping, cities to towns, and cooking to drinking tea, this trip was incredibly memorable and fulfilling, and allowed me to bond with some beautiful girls who became wonderful friends too. The beautiful scenery we saw simply amazed me. This experience also taught me to have more fun in the present moment, and that it's not material things that bring us true happiness, it's the experiences and connections we make with others. Welcome back to another and the last travel vlog here in wonderful Sri Lanka. It is currently around 8am. I woke up at around 5.30. I'm currently just chilling here. So if you haven't yet caught up with my previous vlogs, I'm currently traveling around this beautiful country, starting from Colombo and going all around with One Life Adventures. It's the second time I'm doing a group tour and so far, I've just been filled with so much joy and it's been a pleasure traveling with such beautiful girls as well. We are a very small group so we've become very close. Truly really so grateful for all of these experiences and I just can't believe that today is already our last day. It is day 10. We've just been doing so much. It's been quite full on. Pretty much experienced a bit of everything that Sri Lanka has to offer. It's just been a very cultural experience as well which is what I love the most. I highly recommend this tour if you are looking into it. Definitely didn't expect Sri Lanka to be like this at all. I really didn't have any expectations and I just really hope that through you watching these travel vlogs that it brings you inspiration into your day to follow your dreams because for me traveling the world is one of my dreams and every day I am working towards fulfilling that. I guess right now I am living that so I hope that I can just be an example for you that anything is possible to keep moving forward, work towards it, doing give up and follow your passion every single day. Yeah, I also hope the vlogs can inspire you to do something new and to be more spontaneous in life as well, to have more fun because I honestly booked this tour two weeks ago and it's been one of the best travel decisions I ever made. I really just listened to my intuition and of course I hope these vlogs inspire you to travel the world, to open your horizons and perspectives. I really feel like the more you travel, the more you allow yourself to understand different ways of life and this cultivates more world harmony. Yeah, I wake up quite early this morning, I did some yoga with the ocean waves in the background, it was just so so peaceful with the sun rising as well and I'm about to go have breakfast. The buffet here is amazing, actually this hotel is called Cool Sands and it's in Hikadua. We are driving all the way back to Colombo again today before we fly out tomorrow so just be another exciting day. So 
the first stop on the drive back to Colombo is actually a tsunami museum. It's quite sad to be here actually because Sri Lanka actually had the second highest death toll in the 2004 South Asian Pacific tsunami on the Boxing Day. It actually wasn't very largely publicized as well. It wasn't very much on the news simply because there weren't as many tourists here but around about 65,000 people passed away through impact from the wave and around 125,000 children were left orphaned here so it is a bit of a sad area but I feel like it's very important to educate ourselves on just what happened in this area and just some things we can do in the future to prevent it such as being more aware and knowing the signs of when tsunamis happen but just having a look at the raw photographs that were taken here displayed at this house which was one of the only houses remaining from the time of before the tsunami so a lady she was living here and she turned it into a museum for us and you can visit you can send a donation it's really I think important to learn more about this and just take some time to look at the photos My Sri Lanka trip ended quite abruptly so I'll quickly just explain here what happened after we visited the Tsunami Museum because it was very sudden, quite unexpected and that's why I didn't really vlog afterwards. When we visited the museum I started to feel a very intense pain in my stomach and for the rest of the day I just I couldn't even bring myself to pick up the camera much because I was in so much pain. But then afterwards, as we made our way to Colombo, the rest of the group also visited a turtle conservation and also picked up rubbish at the beach as well. And that's something I really love about One Life Adventures is that they really, really involve themselves into good causes in the local country. I truly had an incredible experience with them. Then after the turtle conservation, we continued to drive up to Colombo. We arrived maybe after two hours on the bus and we checked into our hostel and basically after then our tour ended. I actually really enjoyed staying in that hostel. It wasn't the best of the best and since the Wi-Fi wasn't so great or strong there, I actually liked that because it allowed us to connect in person even more. The rest of the evening I did feel a little better. We were playing cards downstairs in the main hostel area and then in the evening we had our last group dinner at this lovely restaurant nearby. The next morning we woke up quite early and a bunch of us got the same taxi to the airport and in the mid-afternoon I boarded my flight from Sri Lanka, Colombo to Bangkok. It took around three and a half hours and it was a really really spectacular flight because from my window in the distance you could see some lightning strikes. So so amazing. I had never seen that before. On the plane I was feeling a little sad. I was just reflecting on the trip and listening to music and I also listened to a podcast as well and I find that always helps me to fall into a very deep sleep which I did on the plane. I'm honestly just feeling so incredibly genuinely happy right now. I don't take it for granted. I'm really allowing myself to feel this joy as well especially after experiencing depression for four to five months. It really means a lot that I feel happy right now so I'm just allowing myself to embrace it, to truly feel it and hopefully pass some of this joy on to you today. So when I arrived in Bangkok it took around one and a half hours to get to the hostel I'm staying at which is called the Printing Posh Tao Bangkok. Since it's my third time here in Bangkok I kind of know the area a bit now to know where is a nice place I, I would like to stay in. More importantly this hostel is very close to my favourite, favourite ever cafe in Asia basically called Ethos. I'm honestly just staying in Bangkok for this one day for mainly the cafe. That's how much I love it. And thankfully my stomach is feeling a lot better today which I don't take for granted. I'm currently just sitting outside the hostel now just kind of by a little river with lots of locals nearby, lots of local housing. I just really want to explore with no plan today. I love being spontaneous now and I'm just very excited to be back in Bangkok even if it's just a day since tomorrow I am leaving for the next destination in Thailand that I haven't yet visited but today is a good day to have a good day. So so let's go to Ethos. Let's get some good coconut, banana, gluten free pancakes.
it is super hot and humid here in Bangkok as always but I've made it here now to Ethos and reunited so excited over these pancakes every time I'm in Bangkok I come here I get this one and it is just heaven if you ever come here you've got to try this one out some coconut cream I'm just gonna pour it over the top the coconut milk just soaks into the pancake and makes it so moist it's a little bit sweetened but just so fluffy I'm so happy all right banana pancake and see just how fluffy it is. Words can't describe it. This is just the best pancake ever. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. You can look a lot. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. I've made it now to a beautiful temple called Wat Tepti Dadam. There's another name at the end of that, but I can't really pronounce it. And it's right near my hostel, actually. I was just wandering around and I saw it, and it looks absolutely beautiful. First time I came to Bangkok, I already did the main temples like the Grand Palace and Wat Po. This is more of a local one. There really aren't many people here at all, and it's just gorgeous I love temples I have a thing for them also before you come in you can read about the history here I know that King Rama the third I believe don't quote me on that but he founded this temple just going to walk around and explore before it starts raining because the clouds are getting very dark it is definitely about to pour just had a very interesting experience here at the temple. I walked into a place called the Sun Ton Pool Museum and it turns out to be of course a museum dedicated to Sun Ton Pool who has actually been acknowledged and honoured by UNESCO to be one of the greatest poets of Thailand and in history and some of the volunteers working at the museum explained to me that he is also regarded as the Shakespeare of Thailand as well. The volunteers just kind of took me around and I had no idea what was really happening but they showed me some different rooms and then they took photos of me on their iPad they showed me and it turns out to be some sort of virtual reality thing so some images were added in and they airdropped all the photos to me I'll put some of them right here for you it was kind of funny but also just a very fun and interesting experience I actually learned a lot about the Thai history and culture which is always my aim when I travel and yet they were just really nice at the end they offered me a nice cool Thai drink as well all included in the entry fee which was just 100 Thai baht honestly I've just been walking on the streets and every time I smile to a local they just smile right back so that's another thing I love about the locals here I feel like no matter where in the world as long as you smile to someone they can't help but smile back so smile more I'm honestly feeling a little tired just after the whole entire Sri Lanka trip I'm actually gonna go back to my hostel now and rest for the rest of the day I'm going to end this vlog here so I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did do give a thumbs up so I know and comment down below which has been your favorite vlog so far in the Sri Lanka travel series I'm very interested to know if you have any questions about traveling in Thailand or Sri Lanka do also let me know in the comments and I'll answer them either in the video or in my blog post and yeah tomorrow I'm very excited to visit a new part of Thailand that I haven't visited before so stay tuned for the next vlog be sure to subscribe so you can see the vlogs and you don't miss them so I will see you next time take care beautiful friends I appreciate you so 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 much have a wonderful day here from Bangkok